What's up guys, Skid Rampage here, so today we're going to be reviewing one of the most anticipated Naruto Funko Pops, Asuma, the Hot Topic exclusive. So let's check it out. guys, so I am currently still in Hollywood, however, I did really want to review this one, and it happened to be at Chow's Collectibles store um, over in the Glendale Galleria Mall, uh, which was really awesome, and he looks amazing, so I just, I had to pick up another one. I do have one coming from Pop Culture that I ordered to review for you guys a little bit earlier, because this one is set to release in October at Hot Topic, for anybody wondering, but again, I saw this one in uh, Chalice, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I need it, I need it now, so I just bought it to review, and then I'm shipping it home with the rest of the pops that we did buy. Make sure to check out all the videos while I've been gone as well guys like the uh, Funko HQ and everything like that that are coming soon um, but I did pick put up some other videos like uh, I believe Fan Expo was either today or tomorrow but look out for that that's a really awesome one but he looks nice and it even came in a chalice protector which is really awesome love it he looks amazing again a little disappointing that they didn't give him the uh, cigarette in his mouth but at this point in the show I believe he didn't have one is what most people were telling me um, he stopped smoking I think at that point so Either way, uh, I think it would have been a really cool addition, even if Funko did it, even if it wasn't at this point in the show. Um, I think it'd be cool because it's kind of his signature look almost, but I do love this pop. For anybody wondering, by the way, there's kind of the art. He does have the 3D box art, as well, guys, as he is part of the... Um, the last wave of Naruto Pops, and I believe this the reason for this one is purely because the um, the new ones that are coming out, and that includes like Jiraiya with Popsicles, Itachi, uh, Itachi with um, with Crow, Itachi Ombu Chase, and uh, uh, there was Kisame and uh, a few others. There's a ton more. Trying to remember off the top of my head is difficult. Anyways, there's a lot in that new wave, guys, and I think he was he just came faster than the rest of them, and they were probably delayed, and that's what happened. Um, and those are actually hard confirmed. If you guys were wondering, uh, Funko store employee actually said so. At least most of them are on the list, and that's really awesome. So I'm so excited for that. Uh, they are they are hard confirmed. She confirmed Boruto last time, and this is awesome. So thank you so much. Um, I don't know if you want your name mentioned, but thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm very excited. So let's take him out of the box. Comment down below. Have you picked up a special edition sticker yet? If you guys want to, again, they're available at Chalice in the store. Um, they might be available on the website, but they are available on various other sites as well. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited. So let's take him out of the box. All right, guys. So here is Asuma Sensei out of the protector there. So he does have that special edition sticker. I really would prefer the Hot Topic exclusive one, but I wanted to review early for you guys. So not complaining about the sticker, but I do have two now. I think I think the other one might just end up going to Bailey or maybe we'll give it away. I don't know. Again, they do release in about a month. Uh, there was, I don't, honestly, I don't even think this one's gone online for pre-order. I think this one had no pre-sale to it. Um, we just saw Hot Topic Nerd actually show it off. And of course, we do have the uh, Kakashi Susano uh, teased as well, or at least some kind of Susano. There's Kakashi, Madara, and Sasuke out. I don't think there's a Itachi one. But I believe there's those three characters that are getting Susanoos in the future. Anyways, um, I think it's Kakashi though. Anyways. There's so many Hot Topic exclusives coming, but he looks amazing, guys. Uh, let's take him out of the box here. So unfortunately, I don't have my my like uh, revolving stand here. Um, so this video is not going to be up to quality like the rest of them. But again, it's kind of like an early review, and I just couldn't wait. I really wanted to review this one for you guys. So let's take him out of the box here, and let's see what's going on. Oh, he's beautiful. He kind of has like a metallic look almost to his hair. It's not metallic, but almost kind of like a glossy look, which I really love. Guys, he does have a lot of detail to him. Of course, most of the ninja do have that, that actual headband. He has kind of like the angry eyebrows, like he's in a you know action stance, almost like uh, he's ready to fight, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the beard looks really nice, well-trimmed. Uh, he does have his chakra blades in hand. It would have been cooler if they kind of made like a chase situation where the chakra was kind of like around it, kind of like a blue translucent kind of like bubble almost around his blades. That would have been really awesome. Either way, we got the character, so I'm happy with it, but his chakra blades are, were, you know, a really nice touch. It would have been weird if they didn't put him with it, kind of like the cigarette situation. Um, anyways, guys, we do also have his uh, uh, Saratobi clan symbol on his little thing, so let me kind of show you guys there. So there is his little clan symbol on his kind of like shirt, I believe, or kind of like, it's almost like a like a handkerchief kind of hanging from him. I'm not exactly sure what to call it. Anyways, his clan symbol is there, um, which looks nice. And then he does have the leaf symbol all over his back and sides of his shoulders. Overall, it looks really, really nice. I love what they did. I love that they made the character either way. Uh, so very interesting molding on here. They kind of molded the headband. Looks like the, the hair is molded in two pieces. So there's like a top piece here and then the headband and then the bottom hair piece that was molded into the headband. So I don't think the two hair pieces are actually attached. I think they're actually 
uh, just a top, middle piece, and a bottom piece. And then the beard is kind of the same. It's kind of just molded under it like that. Very interesting how they kind of did that, but I guess with the headband and being kind of plastic, it was probably a little difficult. Either way, guys, just kind of showing you guys. He looks great. I'll probably take some pictures of him this time around for the video so you guys can see him a little better, but either way, he looks amazing. Maybe, I don't know. This hotel, it has like a kind of like a rooftop area with a pool, so maybe I can go up there and kind of take some really cool shots of him next to like outside with Hollywood in the background. That'd be really cool. I don't know. We'll see if I want to go that far with this video. It's kind of like more of a quick video for you guys to see, but either way, um, he looks awesome. And obviously, guys, he is the leader slash sensei for Eno, Shikamaru, and Choji. Honestly, out of that group, I really only care for Shikamaru. I don't care much for Eno. I don't care much for Choji as characters. Um, it was weird that we got Chocho as a character. I believe that's Choji's daughter. I felt like that was so weird over so many other characters for Boruto. Like, seriously, like, it was just, it was weird. Like, we need Hinata, we need uh, Neji, which would be awesome. Um, Hinata's younger sister. Like, there's just so many other characters they could have made over, like, some of the Boruto characters, I feel like, for Naruto. But obviously, it's a different show. But anyways, we're kind of branching off. He looks great, guys. Again, he is releasing next month sometime, um, probably like early, mid-October for anybody wondering. And uh, he should have an in-store release relatively right around the same time as his uh, online release because, again, there's no pre-sale. And Hot Topic's been doing this a lot for a lot of their delayed ones, I believe. Um, I don't know if it'll always be this way to where we won't get pre-sale for certain ones. We'll see, but there's a lot of delays going on. Either way, guys, well worth the wait. He's a very awesome pop. I don't know if I showed you guys the back of him there, uh, but just show you guys one more time. I really do like him. Also, I did want to kind of tell you guys, this uh, this shirt was actually given to me by a subscriber, and he has an Instagram called Kage Culture. I believe that is uh, what it is, and he gave it to me at Funko PopCon, which that video is still yet to come out, but I will. It, I haven't edited it yet. I'm working on editing it, but yeah, I just want to kind of show you he did give me this shirt and it's actually naruto themed has like a little ramen bowl there and it says hokage on the front and on, on the back i'm trying to show you guys hopefully it does have naruto on the back there and it's just a really nice shirt and it was really nice of him to actually uh give me one um and he does have like a really cool sasuke one as well so you guys can go check out his instagram uh he asked me for a plug and i was like you know what this is such an awesome shirt and it was nice of him to do so here's your plug man uh go check out his uh instagram if you guys want to pick up a cool shirt um but for the most part guys that's pretty much it that i have for awesome he's just a really cool pop all around i really do like him and uh again i have like two coming now so Again, the other one might go to Bailey. We might do a giveaway. We'll see. I'll probably end up with the official sticker or do a Funko Pop hunt for this one as well. Um, I wish I could have done a more in-depth, like, you know, full review. I don't just don't have all my equipment here. Either way, one more look at him, guys. He looks beautiful. I'm trying to get, like, the natural light in there. Love him. Comment down below, did you guys pick this one up early? Are you guys still waiting for it to release? I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Do you guys find the pop kind of lackluster without the cigarette? Personally, it's just, again, it would have been a really, really great detail, but it's still a cool pop without it. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate any support on this one. Comment down below, what is your favorite Naruto Funko Pop? I'm super curious about that. I think my favorite currently, I really love that Kakashi Anbu. He looks so beautiful. Minato, the glow chase is really nice as well. Um, and then there's a few other, there's so many Naruto pops now. I recently got, you know, Kurama, the glow in the dark one, uh, signed, which was awesome. So that looks great. And I've always loved that pop. It has such a great glow to it. Um, but in terms of like other pops, I'm trying to think there's so many good ones. I need to do another Naruto Funko pop collection video, like an updated video for you guys, for sure. Um, between me and Bailey's collection, I think I have all of them. I think we just need to buy a couple more. I don't know. But a full set is coming for My Hero and Naruto and Dragon Ball. I don't know about Dragon Ball Z. That's so endless. Anyways, stay tuned for full collection videos in the future, guys. However, I do want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support. I really do appreciate and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. A lot of fun stuff going on over there, guys. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you make a ton of friends. As well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all for updates. Also, guys, we're going to be having an Inosuke flock to give away, I think, today or tomorrow. So definitely be following me on Instagram if you guys want a chance to win that chase. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure to head over to my Instagram and check that out. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.